Hello and welcome to an exciting breakfast with Unity. I'm your host Max Moreau and uh, today I'm going to be uh, going over um, a little thing we're going to do show and tell basically. I've got this curved text script and I'm going to show it off. This is actually the second time I've done this episode. Um, the first time just went terribly and I got it all cleaned up and we're just going to make this go right this time. So um, as I said I'm not going to be going over this on the show like actually scripting this because it's kind of complex. Um, and I had to work through it when I was when I was figuring it out. But I am going to go over kind of how it works and what it does. So first of all, what it does. So if we create a um, UI text, and wait for a moment while Unity figures that out, um, we have this text widget that you can use to make text. And you can just type stuff in and it, it shows up. And Sometimes you want this to curve around something. It's like sometimes you might want to have like a reticle or something. I'm just going to use a sphere as an example. And uh, you might want the text to curve around this sphere in your UI. So I'm just going to put this at 0, 0, 0 so that we can see it in the scene. I'm just going to put uh, the camera at 0. And may as well put a directional light in there. Light, directional light. All right. So I'm just going to make some text, curved text go around this. Um, so right now, if we put the text in the center, does it actually show up on the screen in game mode? I don't see it. Why don't I see it? All right. Um, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Let's just show what, show what it does first. Um, oh, it's because I have no text in here. Blah. So does it show up in the game? Yes. All right, cool. So this is going to be the curved text I'm going to show. So I'm going to create an empty object. We're going to put it underneath the canvas and we're gonna throw curved text on it. Now, this works very similarly to the other text object where you can type in stuff, blah, blah, and it looks like it's actually not working, but it's actually showing up at the bottom here. Um, the default settings have it uh, wrapping at 360, and the default settings on the, uh, on the, can on the uh, stuff here doesn't have it centered, so centered actually works a lot better. So now we've got it centered, and we can offset it. So, um, this is a radius of 0.5, so if we offset it uh, 0.5 up, so that, well, 0.5 up, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, I'm just going to set it, oh, offset it by 50. Nah, 25. And we can go to the game, and you can see blah, blah, and we can, and this, uh, this is a pretty, uh, it's pretty robust. Like, you could, you get word wrap, you can, you can keep typing, and it goes to multiple lines. And um, additionally, you can uh, you can adjust the angles. So so we've got a radius which adjusts what the radius of the text is, and we've got uh, the wrap angle which uh, adjusts where the whoops that's too far that's not what we want to do we want to go left less than three sixty we can adjust it so that it only like wraps to a certain point. So you can really do a lot with this text widget, and it's actually pretty simple how it was implemented. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's, it's super useful. Scale factor here, um, I just keep it at 100. It's something that I kind of needed in there for a lot of reasons, and I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, but just here, it's adjustable. It just changes the, uh, the um, relative scale of things. Um, so generally, you just want to leave it at 100. So um, so yeah so this is this is this is potentially a lot uh, pretty useful. You could also do like over under text. So like if you just wanted like something that said um, like say you had a shield indicator shield, and then you had like a health indicator underneath. Um, you could just duplicate this and do um, uh, health, and we could change. Oh, I guess I don't have an offset change, do I? I guess we could do this. Oh, you can just flip it. That's what we'll do. No, that won't work either. Rotate it, yeah. You can just rotate it. Why would I need an extra tool for that? That's not the one I want. I want to rotate it around the Z 180. There we go. So now we've got, like, shield and health indications or something. I don't know. You can, do, you can have fun with it. So uh, I'm just going to call these curved text. Curved text and curved text. So there's two scripts involved. One of them is super, super simple, um, and it's kind of surprising that I even needed it. But uh, this is actually the, the reason that I had to redo this episode is because I forgot about this, this um, uh, very simple script. All this says is for um, type of curved text to draw the default inspector. Um, evidently, it skips 
um, subclass things in the UI for some reason, unless you have a editor script that draws a default inspector. That's all you have to tell it to do, and then and then the rest of your stuff will come in just fine. So um, so what if you don't have the script? What what's missing is you won't have uh, direct access to the radius, wrap angle, and scale factor. Um, and, uh, and so you definitely need the script and it needs to be in an editor folder. It doesn't matter where the editor folder is. It just has to be in your project somewhere underneath editor. Um, so then there's the, where the magic actually happens. So, so we've got a couple of things in here. I'm, I'm, I'm caching circumference just so I don't have to recalculate it every time. Um, so anytime that you change the radius or the scale factor, it automatically recalculates that. Um, it validates the, the, um, the values. So if we, uh, say if we take curve text and we uh, adjust the radius down. It won't let you go negative. It will let you go further down than you probably should because you can see how messed up this text gets. But uh, but it's it's uh, generally safe in the wrap angle, same same difference, although I should probably have a maximum 360. Though maybe there's some reason you would want it to overlap for some reason, I don't know. Maybe there's some special effect. Um, let's just go back to 0.5 and uh, 360. Um, you can see that it changes the horizontal size of things. Um, it's a little bit oversized. The reason being is uh, what this is actually doing is if you have enough text in it, uh, if you if you set the wrap angle to 360, it's actually the exact size it needs to be to show um, all of the text in the circle. It just shows it kind of horizontally as opposed to vertically. So like if we were to not do this as a, a text box. If we do this in a standard text box, this would actually just fill to the edges of it. Um, is how I'm handling the wrapping and how I'm handling it, not clipping things. So, um, so the actual magic is on Phil VBO. I found out about this from um, a post on Unity 3D, uh, where someone mentioned that you can change the vertex positions. And after figuring figuring out that he had missed a line in his example. Um, I was able to actually change the vertex positions so that they go in a circle. Uh, all I basically do is I figure out where the horizontal position would be. Um, this is the reason why um, if we just have like one word shield and we put it on left, it ends up down here, is because this is actually the far left of the, uh, of the, of the text box, and this would be the far right of the text box. And so where the text is is a percentage of the way around or rather it's a percentage of the way across, and then we, it becomes a percentage of the way around. So we take the percentage, we offset it based by, on that percentage, then we, um, we do uh, an additional offset for the Y to actually push it off based on the radius. And uh, finally, we um, move all of the vert vertexes down so that the, uh, the, the box is centered around things rather than uh, offset. And uh, then we just throw these vertexes back into the vertex buffer object array, and we get uh, we get these new things. So what's actually happening here behind the scenes, just to be a little bit more specific, um, this text is actually um, what Unity's doing behind the scenes is each of these characters is a polygon. Um, so there's well actually two polygons. It's uh, four vertices and two polygons. So a triangle here and a triangle here. So like like. Just standard. It's a standard quad, but split into two triangles, and you do that for each letter. And so all I'm doing is I'm taking the vertexes and moving them to a different location based on this, just using a little bit of math. And you can see this actually not a whole lot of math to do it. Um, it's just you got to figure out the right math. It took a while to to get this in, but now that I've got it, it's a useful tool. Um, and then I do it, some additional stuff. I I have it in an update to check this stuff too. I might it might be prudent to remove that. The only reason I do it is in case that you're real-time changing values and you didn't mean to change it below that, but I probably should just keep that invalidate. Um, the other thing I'm doing here is this is this is the part that's uh, resizing the uh, the field appropriately so that it doesn't clip your text. This is this I did. Um, we could have theoretically just done horizontal overflow overflow. No, that actually probably won't work. Actually, what does that do? I've got to know now. If we set this to overflow, does it actually over Yeah, it does. Okay, so you definitely don't want overflow. So that doesn't solve the problem. We want it to wrap, but the wrapping size has to match so that it wraps. So basically, I'm that's this is a hack. This what width thing is a hack so that the wrapping works exactly right. So health, H E L T H, and I'm just going to put this shield back into the center, and we're going to get rid of this stupid text. Delete, and we'll just look at that. Yeah, sure. 
that's that's fine for an example. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, uh, the download links are in the description below. If you have any questions, please email me, pushypixels at pushypixels.com. You can also tweet me at Drakfire, that's D-R-A-K-F-Y-R-E. And, um, yeah, keep making games, have a good time. Support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash cookie with your unity. I really appreciate your support. If you support us, uh, the more support we have, the more time I can put into this because I can justify it. So, um... Thank you very much, and you guys have a great one, and I will catch you tomorrow with more Breakfast with Unity.